the student loan trust fund, George Ferguson Lying has disclosed that the fund is ready to take all legal actions necessary against the defaulters of the loan. According to him, the decision has the decision to take such action has been necessitated by several attempts, including publications, to have monies retrieved but to no avail. African News, Mr. Lang indicated that over the past few months, the Student Loan Trust Fund has embarked on an aggressive campaign where they called on defaulters to repay their loans. He stressed that these defaulters have failed in the repayment of their loans within this stipulated period. The Public Relations Officer of the Fund further added that after several publications of names of defaulters in the Daily Graphic, these defaulters have neglected the notice and refused to settle via loans. He threatened legal action against defaulters who are unable to repay their loans after the current publication. Repay your loan. Now, these people whose names and details were published in the National Dailies, they have gone through the 10-year cycle without paying the loan. The next step after this publication is that we are prosecuting them, and so that's the next step. And um, this week we did the last publication, so in the coming weeks you find that people are being taken to court and we are going to recover the monies from the court system. We wish we could do it another way uh, because nobody enjoys going to court. A, a, a large section of our borrowers are responsible minded and they are paying but it's for this group who are refusing to pay that we are taking this mr george ferguson line also cautioned employers on the need to ask potential employees if they are beneficiaries of the student loan trust fund he urged employers to help the fund recover their loans from employees who have defaulted well, we are supposed to ask at the point of employment if the person is a beneficiary of the student loan and if they are to put in place measures to deduct the loan at source on behalf of the fund um, some employers neglect to do this uh, we've, we've taken it upon ourselves to do a lot of employer engagement and a, a lot of employer education and I'm happy to say that over the past few months, we are seeing a lot more employers doing what they are supposed to do. However, a few have flatly refused to do so. And so again, we are, we are taking the next step. We give them a list of these employers to the CID, police CID. And again, investigations have begun and those that will end up in court will end up in court. The Student Loan Trust Fund has taken a significant step in addressing loan defaults by publishing the names and details of 30 borrowers who have failed to repay their loans. This action, in accordance with the Student Loan Trust Fund Act 820, serves as a necessary measure before pursuing legal persecution. The publication aims at bringing attention to borrowers who have defaulted on loan amounts ranging from 15,000 Ghana cities to 11,000 Ghana cities. The decision to publish the names of defaulters comes as the SLTF faces a growing demand for loans from tertiary students.